Alright, now let's have our continuation in solving or in using this for kinematic equation or uniformly accelerated motion equation in the next problem. Po. Okay, now let's have the problem number four. A jet plane starts out moving at 10 meter per second and accelerates the velocity of 24 meter per second. What displacement does the jet plane cover during this velocity change if it occurs over 10 seconds? So, ano daw po yung displacement ng jet plane, okay, within a period of 10 seconds? So, again, like what we did in the previous questions, we need to identify the three variables in this question. So, as you can see here, ang initial velocity dito ay 10 meter per second. Bakit? It starts out moving at 10 meter per second. So, meron na tayong keyword na starts. So, that's the initial velocity. Next, we have the final velocity. Uh, after nung 10 meter per second, nag-accelerate siya into 24 meter per second. So, yan lang last na binanggit na velocity na after nung 10 meter per second. So, that is the final velocity na consider natin dito sa problem na ito. And then, for the time, obviously, uh, cover niya yung period of time dito, which is the 10, which is the 10 seconds. Okay? Now, we need to look for the equation na pwedeng mag-accommodate doon sa three variables natin at depende doon sa um, inahan natin, which is displacement. Okay? Displacement ito, displacement ito. But but here, meron siyang acceleration na dapat i-accommodate, pero dito wala tayong uh, acceleration. So obviously, this formula is the formula that we are going to use in this problem. So we need to put this formula in the solution part. We have the distance is equal to final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2 and multiply it into the time. So we need to transfer all the variable or all the value of the variable in the equation. So for the final velocity, meron tayong 24 meter per second, 10 meter per second for the initial velocity divided by 2, multiplied by 10 seconds. Then we need to add 24 plus 10, makukuha natin 34 meter per second. Then 34 divided by 2, makukuha po natin ang 17 meter per second, multiplied it by Multiply it to the time, makukuha natin is 17 times 10, makukuha natin is 170 meters. So, papansin nyo makakancel out yung um, time dyan or yung second para ang unit na matira lang ay meter. And obviously, meter is the unit na pwede talaga natin gamitin for the displacement itself. Okay? Okay, let's try to answer this problem number 5. A toy car slows down from 15 meter per second to 3 meter per second over a distance of 36 meters. How long did this take? Okay, gaano ba katagal? Okay, gaano ba katagal nag slow down, total slow down yung toy car hanggang ma-reach yung 3 meter per second in a distance of 36 meters. Again and again, we need to identify the three variables dito sa problem na to. So, we have the initial velocity which is 15 meter per second. Kung papansin ninyo, dyan nag-start yung slowdown nung car mismo. Then, we have the final velocity which is 3 meter per second. Okay? And then, we have the distance which is 36 meter. Okay, ang next part na gagawin natin, we need to identify kung anong formula ang gagamitin po natin. Okay, kung sinong formula or equation ang mag accommodate dito sa ating variable or given na na-identify. Okay, so pampasin ninyo, lahat, uh, lahat sila ay mayroong initial velocity sa kanilang equation. Okay, now for the final velocity, um, itong unang equation, wala siyang final velocity, tatanggalin na po natin. Ito naman po, meron ding final velocity, final velocity, final velocity. So, tatlo na lang po ang pupipilahan po natin. The next one, we have the distance. Meron po bang distance ito? Meron po. Ito may distance, wala. So, tatanggalin na po siya sa choices natin. Then this one, distance, meron pong distance. Again, uh, para sila, so sino ang pagpipilihan po natin dyan sa kanilang dalawa? We need to go back with the question. Kung ano ba talaga yung nahanap? How long? So obviously, time po yung nahanap. Dito sa equation na to, may time po ba? Wala. So tanggal po iyan. Dito, meron po bang time? Yes po. 
That's why ito po ang gagamitin nating formula. Okay? So, include natin siya sa solution part natin na distance is equal to final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2, multiply it into time. Okay? As you observe, distance ang given dito, pero nandito yung time. Okay? Merong, merong, ano, merong value yung distance natin. Ang inaharap natin ay time. Anong gagawin po natin? We need to derive the formula po. Okay? Derivation po ng formula ang gagawin natin dito. Itong to po, transfer po natin dito, katabi po ni this distance. Okay? So, meron tayong 2D is equal to final velocity plus initial velocity. The sum of it will be multiplied to time. Okay? And then, next part natin, kasi nga time ay natin, dapat siya lang maiwan dyan. So, ang gagawin po natin, final velocity, okay, plus initial velocity. Include din natin si final velocity dito, plus initial velocity. Para makancel out yung final dito, final velocity plus initial velocity na part ng formula. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, time is equal to 2D divided by the sum of final velocity plus initial velocity. So, ganyan ang magiging formula po natin in looking for the time in this problem. Okay? Now, we need to transfer all the value ng ating mga variable dito sa formula ng naga, uh, nagawa po natin. So, time is equal to 2 Multiplied by the distance, which is 36 meters. For the final velocity, we have 3 meters per second. And for the initial velocity, we have 15 meters per second. Okay? So, 2 times 36, meron tayong 72 meters. And then, 3 plus 15, meron tayong 18 meters per second. Okay? Now, 72 divided by 18, makakakuha tayo ng 4 seconds po. Makakancel out po si meter po dyan. And obviously, seconds is the basic unit na kinagamit po natin in looking for the time. Okay? Now, let's proceed with the problem number 6. A car exiting the highway begins with a speed of 25 meter per second and travels down a 100 meter long exit ramp with a deceleration of 3 meter per second squared. What is the car's velocity at the end of the exit ramp? Okay, again, we need to identify, identify the three variables para hindi tayo ma dito sa pagsusolve ng problem na ito. For the given, meron tayong initial velocity na 25 meter per second. As you observe, begin with 25 meter per second. So, that is the initial velocity. Okay, next we have the distance, the 100 meter. Obviously, meter na ang ginamit dyan, so that is 100 meter po. Then, we have the acceleration which is 3 meter per second squared kasi meter per second squared ang unit na ginamit dito. As you observe, um, negative yung ginamit dito kay, neg uh, kay acceleration kasi deceleration po. Deceleration is considered po na negative acceleration yan. Pag may nabasa pong deceleration, negative acceleration po ang, ang tawag po dyan. Okay, so that's why negative 3 meter per second squared ang ating acceleration dito. Now, next part after identifying the variables, okay, we need to identify the equations or formula na gagamitin po natin. As you observe, um, ang inaanap po natin dito ay ang car's velocity at the end. So, final velocity up, agad po ang inaanap natin. And then, dalawa lang naman po ang nag-offer ng dal uh, dalawang, lang, dalawang formula lang po ang nag-offer ng formula in looking for the final velocity. Ito po at ito. Okay? Now, uh, we need to identify kung ano bang formula ang gagamitin natin. First, initial velocity. para po may mga initial velocity kay equation. Next, distance. Itong part na to ay may distance po. Dito ay wala. So, x na po siya sa pagpipilian. So, this one will be the formula na gagamitin po natin. Okay, so include na natin siya sa solution part po natin. So, final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 multiplied by the acceleration multiplied by distance. Okay, so we need to transfer all the value of our variables doon po sa formula na 
nag uh, na na identify po natin. Okay? Now, 25 meter per second for the initial velocity squared plus 2 multiplied by the acceleration which is the 3 meter per second squared, negative 3 meter per second squared times 100 meter as the distance. Okay? So, we need to uh, get the uh, square of square of 25 so 25 times 25 makukuha po natin si 625 meter per meter squared second uh, per second square kasi papansin niyo hindi lang yung numerical value po yung maapektuhan sa square maski po yung unit meron pong magkakaroon po ng square po okay next Papasahin nyo, hindi po i-multiply pag si 2, but we need to multiply first the acceleration to the distance. Okay, so, 3, negative 3 times 100, makukuha natin yung negative 300 meters squared uh, per second squared. Kasi, uh, second squared na po yung dulo nito, pero multiply po natin yung meter to meter, kaya naging meter squared. So, pareho ang may meter squared per second squared. Okay, ang bawat isa po. Okay, next, we need to multiply the 2 to negative 300. So, makukuha po natin is negative 600 meters squared per second squared. Okay, now, papansin ninyo, same unit sila. So, kayang-kaya natin uh, i-minus ang bawat isa. Okay, kaya natin makuha yung difference ang bawat isa kasi same unit naman po sila. So, 625 minus 600 meters squared per second squared, makukuha po natin is 25 meters squared per second squared. Papasin din ninyo, merong square po yung ating final velocity. Okay? Dapat, kung tandaan ninyo, na dapat mawala po iyang square na yan sa kanyang final, um, sa final velocity po. Paano po natin magagawa yan? We need to square root the both side po. Okay? Square root po niya. Para kapag nag-square root po tayo dito, cancel po ito, makakancel po ito. So, VF na po ang matitira dyan. And then also, using that uh, square root po, matatanggal na rin po yung square root natin dito. Para meter per second na lang din po ang matitira. So, ang mangyayari, final velocity is equal to the square root of 25. So, ang square root ng 25 ay 5, 5 po. Okay? Then, na-cancel na out na po yung square root dito kay meter squared per second squared, ang mangyayari is meter per second. So, ang ating final velocity dito ay 5 meter per second.